extracts from Namudi Carlos broadcast on June 21st, 2020. After he has said opening prayer, he comments and said, We will now proceed to uncover the truth. Indeed, you to understand. Indeed, I need you to understand this. We are highly godly people. Every problem affecting us as a race is our making. I want you to go to the book of Exodus 21:16. That in the is the beginning of our that is the beginning of our problem. I want the whole world to know where our problem started. Do you know what the Bible said in the book of Exodus? It is scary. He that sells slaves and he that kidnaps a man, whether he sells him as a slave, he will surely be put to death. Once you kidnap a man, you are bringing a curse onto your generation. Because black people should sold their own kind. That is why the whole world is threatening them like animals, is treating them like animals they are. The brother of Joseph sold him to the Arabs and God punished them. The same people, the same thing we did as a people, we sold our own. Do you know why the British gave power to the Janjaweed? All are in the plans of Elohim to punish you for the evil that we did. But since after our atonement, Elohim has taught us how to worship him better. Can you tell me why Abia State is 138 cut of mark and Zamfara and Sokoto only need 9 cut off? And these are your so-called fellow Nigerians. You are now asking you that want us to be, that want us to be one Nigeria on what basis? If someone who scored only two percent can go to Unity School while your children with higher scores can't, then where is the incentive? There are always a rented mob in Abuja with red pen and black pen in their pocket. All they know is to write petition. Why is it difficult for an average Nigerian to speak out against evil? Does it mean that your pastors, your elders, your senators cannot see all this injustice and yet they do nothing? A Biafra woman was killed, her two legs cut off, her head cut off and nobody is saying anything and that woman belongs to somebody. You are jumping up and down, black life matters. When a Biafra woman was slaughtered and her body and her body part torn apart. Do you know the meaning of an embassy? Once you walk into a US embassy in Nigeria, Nigeria government will never come there to arrest you. Once you invade any embassy in thought in atonement to aggression to the sovereignty of that nation. If you think I'm joking, go and invade American embassy in Abuja. As you are doing it, Trump will be talking immediately. I say what I say because of what Biafran name deceived. Anywhere in Biafran land, we answer the light. There is no lockdown in the north, but in Biafran land, they said we should go sit at home. The producer and the production manager of BBC Igbo are all Fulani, our enemies, and are are many, but we must overcome. The while we sat at home, our land and our farmland has turned into a fertile land for rape and killing of our mothers. I told you, I warned you in 2013. That they will rape your mothers and daughters. Have you seen it now? You are, you are in Abuja fooling yourself. You are in Lagos fooling yourself. And our mothers are in Nigeria dying of hunger. And as they cannot go to their farm. Exactly what is happening in most states now. Now that they are killing us, BBC won't come. As soon as we start defending ourselves, you will see BBC and channels. Are you telling me that 40 years ago, 
that someone will come to Igbo land and cut off women into pieces without anyone saying anything. That is the air of Ohaneze, Ndarurala, we are living in. Most of these Fulani come from Mali and, and Mauritania, killing people, and yet you have a president, black people. If there is anyone to apologize, it should be Africans, because we have opened our borders and told the whites that we have slaves to sell. If we did not, they, would have, they wouldn't have come. They said we are going to be like the Southern Sudan, and I said yes, because the fastest growing economy in Africa is Southern Sudan. As long as Africa is a disgrace, black people will continue to be disgraced until the light, which is Biafra, is switched on. True repentance can only come until you have set the children of God free. We are the only people in the history of the world that commercialized the sale of our fellow human being, and that is why God is punishing us today. You that sold them from Africa, have you repented? All the money you gave to Daddy G.O., how did you get blessing for it? They cannot handle this gospel as you could get Listen very carefully. Church of England and Bank of England apologized for dabbling into slavery. As soon as the sale of slavery stopped, they told us that Jesus is Lord. If you want to debate me, debate me. Don't hide under the shame. Come out, let me swallow you. Did Anglican Church double into slave? Yes. I also expect the Catholic Church to do the same because the Pope authorized slave trade is a historical fact. Our belief is on Oyenache. Go to my Twitter handle. I fight for Christians every day. Most of the priests that helped Biafra are Catholics and I respect them. I pop brings out one thousand hundred thousand US dollars every month to fight for the Christians, which your daddy GOs cannot do. Your daddy GOs where they were where they were when I pop was proscribed and they said nothing. Togo is a very fine example. Do you know what Togo was once a German colony? and they were handed over to France like a prostitute, only in Africa. From today, we should refer to them as Oduduwa, not Yoruba. Yariba is a degradatory name. The Janjaweed are preparing to go to war with us by killing our people and Biafrans in America are sleeping. For those of you that want me to return back to our original way of broadcast, I will do that from next week and hopefully you have changed. Otherwise, I will return back to the same ways. I thank you all very much for listening to us this evening. And as always, if they ask you, tell them that Biafra is our religion. And here on Radio Biafra is where we worship. The same God of Eri and God. Therefore, from me, from here, is good evening. Mm. So, this one is uh, the live broadcast uh, of uh, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, in the person of uh, Maze Namu de Kalo. In all his speeches, you can see how he is contributing to secure the lives and the properties of Christians. He is actually promoting Christianity. So this is what it is. I know you have listened to this. In case you missed it yesterday, please, I would like you to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Do give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and bye for now.